Hello, today's overcoming multiple sclerosis recipe is an adaptation of moussaka. Here's what you're going to need. We've got a large onion. I've got four garlic cloves here, but that's up to you how much you want to use. We've got some sliced chestnut mushrooms. We've got some aubergines, some barlotti beans, some chopped tomatoes, some red wine, some nutritional yeast flakes. We've got some soy yogurt, so that's dairy-free yogurt. We've got some oregano and thyme, but you can definitely use dried. And we've got some eggs. Oh, and over here, this is an optional ingredient. I mean, as they all are, I guess. But this is a new type of chilli I've discovered called Paul Biber, although I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, to be honest. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some the onion and the garlic in the pan. I'm not going to use oil, so I'm going to just put um, a good glug of water in there. But we can keep adding more and more. And actually, if you want to be able to walk away and do other things for a few minutes, just put quite a lot of water in there because we're going to leave that onion to soften for probably about 10 minutes now. The onions are quite soft now, so I'm going to add the mushroom and cook them for about three minutes before I do anything else. Okay, now those mushrooms have been cooking for about three minutes, I'm going to add the two tins of chopped tomatoes. And the red wine. And then I'm going to leave that to simmer down for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I've been preparing these thin slices of aubergine. I've got them on baking paper with the thinnest smear of olive oil on there. Um, we're going to cook it at 170 degrees C. Um, we're going to cook them until they're soft, so about a quarter of an hour. Okay, so the sauce is simmering away, the aubergines are in the oven. The other thing I can do now is make the sauce. Until now, this has been my cousin Justin's recipe. He's been vegetarian for decades, but he's not dairy free. So the next bit is my overcoming multiple sclerosis adaptation. So I'm going to use this soy yogurt. <laughs> um, a bit more carefully. I'm going to use pretty much all of it. We want it to cover the top. Um, but we want a cheesy taste. The thing that can give this a cheesy taste is these uh, nutritional yeast flakes. I'm just gonna wash my hands quickly. So I'm gonna start by adding about a tablespoon and a half I'm going to blend that up because they're kind of a texture of um, fish flakes that you put in ponds. So if I can just show you that. Um, I don't want them to stay in their flakes, I want them to really mix, well, mix in well. So I'm just going to blend this up quickly. I'm going to go with another tablespoon. And that's the thing really, just keep tasting it until you like it. Yeah, that's good. I'm going with that. Now, the other thing I want to add, because this is going to be really, really runny, I want to now 
add a couple of egg whites to just kind of stick it together a bit. In Justin's recipe, it was um, yogurt and cheese and a whole egg, but we don't have egg yolks on our diet because they've got a lot of saturated fat in them. So I'm going to use two egg whites instead, but I'm not gonna blend it because I don't want any kind of whisking. I'm just using it there, as, um, using them to hold it together. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to um, now add the bolotti beans. The sauce has been simmering for something like 10 minutes. It's definitely looking um, like it's lost some of the liquid. So I'm going to just add the bolotti beans. Like so many dishes on our diet, when you're cooking these things, you've got to appreciate the good food you're putting inside your body. We have just had loads of really healthy ingredients so far. I'm gonna leave that to cook for five minutes. So the aubergines are out now. Um, they're over here, they're ready. I'm just going to mash the beans slightly. That'll help to thicken up the sauce. going to add the herbs. Well, to be honest, they can go in at any time really. And um, I'm going to add a decent teaspoon of the pool biber. But that, like I said, is entirely up to you. If you want a hint of, um, of chilli, then that's a good option, but you might not want to at all. And I don't think it's in the traditional recipe for any kind of moussaka. Okay, to me that's still looking quite runny, so I'm actually going to leave it to simmer for another 10 minutes before I do anything else with it. Right, we're ready. I've decanted the sauce, the red sauce, into another pot just so I can now start to build up the layers. It smells so good. So I'm just going to put a layer of sauce and a layer of aubergine. Right, I'm going to smooth the red sauce on top of the aubergine and now is the time for me to pour the sauce on, the white sauce on. And this is how it's looking so far. I'm now going to put that into the oven at 170 degrees C. I do wish my food presentation was better. But anyway, here is the overcoming multiple sclerosis friendly and vegan moussaka. Thank you very much for watching.